Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. In today's guide video, we are going to learn how you can use the Instagram application as a complete beginner in this short 15 minute video. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we promise to bring you more awesome videos like this one. And without any further ado, let us get started. So using the Instagram application is actually really simple. This is going to be a complete beginner's guide. So make sure to stick with us till the end. So without any further ado, the first thing you want to do is to simply make sure that you have actually already downloaded the Instagram application to your device. I am assuming you have already done so if you have not yet downloaded Instagram. What you want to do is if you are on your Android device, you want to simply open your Google Play Store. And if you are on your iOS, then you want to open your App Store. Now depending on whichever app stores you have in the search box, you want to go ahead and type in Instagram right over here. Once you type in Instagram, you can see the first application which comes up on the list is called Instagram. You want to simply click on download or install for the Android users. And for iOS users, you want to click on the cloud like icon in order to download the Instagram application. So after we download and install the Instagram application, we are moving on to the next step which is to either log into our account or create an account on Instagram. So what we want to do is already tap on Instagram right over here, wait for the application to load up. So once the application loads up, you can see that here it says to either log into your account or sign up. If you don't have an account on Instagram, what you want to do is simply tap on this blue button called sign up with email address or phone number. Now you can create an account on Instagram as long as you have an email or a phone number. You need either one of those to start using Instagram. So simply enter your phone number if you have a number or enter your email address if you have a valid email address. Click on next and follow all of the instructions accordingly and then sign up and create an account without any difficulty but for those users who already do have an account at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see an option called already have an account login so what you want to do is we want to simply tap on already have an account login once you tap on already have an account you have been given multiple options such as to enter your username or password or then you can also continue with your facebook account if you do have a facebook account in my case i'm going to simply tap and continue as my facebook account but you can enter your login email and then your password in order to log into your instagram application so once you log in you can see that this is how the home interface of the application looks like by the way if your account is actually new then you will not be able to see any of these it is simply going to be point blank empty so the first thing i'm going to show you is how to edit your profile picture and then update your bio so at the bottom right hand side of the screen you will be able to see your profile icon once you tap on a profile icon it will take you to your profile editing page so in order to change the profile picture what you want to do is first of all simply tap on the button called edit profile right over here once you tap on edit profile here you can see at the top of the screen called change profile photo you want to simply tap on change profile photo and you can either import from facebook or you can also choose a new profile photo from your gallery once you select the gallery option you want to simply allow all the permission whichever the app requires right from here once you are happy with the profile picture you can go ahead and save this one the other thing we want to do is to simply add a bio so i will show you what a bio is as you can see under my name i have written a word over here this is actually my bio you could simply put anything other than this it adds a fancy sweetness to your profile so what you want to do is simply tap on edit profile again once you tap on edit profile you can see right over here it is called bio over here you want to simply tap on it and delete this bio and then enter a new bio which you want once you do that once you enter your bio on the top right hand side you will be able to see the check icon you can simply tap on check in order to edit or change your bio the other thing you can do is you can also add a website or a custom link to your instagram profile so that if somebody ever visits your profile he or she will be able to tap on the link and then he will go to the website or url which you are trying to redirect them to so here you can see the website option right over here you can simply enter or paste the url of any of the link which you want your users or your visitors to redirect to once you do that on the top right hand side you will be able to see a button called check you want to simply tap on the check button right over there and your profile picture your bio as well as your link will be successfully saved so that is one way to add a bio or a dp to your profile picture or to your instagram profile the next thing we are going to do is learn how to add stories so for example i will show you what stories are if i go to the home dashboard again here you can see multiple users at the top of the screen who have added stories to their profile 
Stories are just a basic show of what you are doing in a day, so you can simply put them anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be a particular thing. For example, let me tap on any of the story over here, and as you can see, if you're watching stories, you can use gestures to control playback. You can tap on the right hand side to skip the story right over here. And you can see that these are some of the stories so if you want to add a story like this one what you want to do is on the top left hand side you will be able to see the plus button on your profile picture you want to simply tap on the plus button right over here once you tap on the plus button you can either choose a photo or video from your gallery in order to add to your story or if not then you can simply select uh, from your camera right over here once you select from your camera you want to allow all the permissions again whichever the app requires right over here So you can post a story like this for example if you want to post a picture right away you can simply do a single tap or if you want to record a video you can simply cancel this and then simply hold a video right over here. Once you hold and tap you can see that this is the recorded video audio now you can simply add text to this story right over here by clicking on the A icon on the top right hand side. You can do many more fancy things such as doing this and all. Once you do that, at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to see the Your Stories option. Now you can share them right to your story right after you do that. Now you can also do other thing which is to simply add a story to your highlight on your profile. So what highlight means is that if you go to your profile here at the bottom, you will be able to see multiple highlights which I have posted here. For example, these are some of the stories which I posted and then I just chose them to add this to my highlight. In order to add them, you want to simply tap on your story at the bottom, you will be able to see a highlight icon. Or if you want, you can simply add a new highlight over here by tapping on the right hand side in this new button. Once you do that, you can select the stories which you have uploaded so far. Once you do that, click on next on the top right hand side, you can give a name to this highlight and then edit the cover as well. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and tap on done at the top right hand side of the screen. So far, we have learned how to download, login, create an account, edit profile, add stories and highlights to our Instagram profile. The other thing we are going to learn is how you can post videos and stories to your profile. For example, you can see in my profile here, I've posted multiple pictures and videos. So in order to add posts like this, what you want to do is at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to see the plus button. You want to simply tap on the plus button right over here. You can select any photos or you can also select multiple photos, whichever you want. Once you do that, on the top right hand side, you can click on go once you do that again you can, you can click on go right over there and you can add a caption and so on and you can choose this to either add this to your twitter or your facebook or your tumblr account you can also tag people as well as add a location once you do that on the top right hand side again you have to go ahead and tap on the check button once you do that your photos and videos will be successfully saved to your instagram profile the next thing we are going to learn is to how to follow or follow somebody. For example, I'm going to show you what followers or followings are. If I go to my profile icon, you can currently see that I have got 204 followers along with 198 following. So these followings are the people who I chose to follow on Instagram and whenever they post a new content or story, it will show up on Instagram feed. And similarly is for my followers section. If somebody follows you, he or she will be able to follow your Instagram profile and then like your pictures and so on. So if you want to learn how to follow somebody at the bottom right hand side, you'll be able to see the search button. Simply tap on the search button and top of the screen, you'll be able to find the button called search. You want to simply tap on the search button and type in the name of the person whom you want to follow. For example, let's say I want to follow PewDiePie, then I'm going to simply tap on PewDiePie right over here. And you can see that this is the PewDiePie's profile or the profile of the person you're trying to follow. So if you want to follow this person, you can simply tap on this blue button called follow. Once you do that, whenever PewDiePie posts a new content or video, then it will show up on your Instagram feed. The next thing we are going to do is that either you want to create a public profile or a private profile. To do that, public profile means that anybody can else visit your profile and then search, like your videos, like your photos and so on. But private account means that you will not be able to like or follow somebody unless that person has accepted your follow request. So to do that, what you want to do is on the top right hand side, you will be able to see the tree navigation bar. Simply tap on the tree navigation bar and go ahead and click on settings. Once you go to settings, you want to go to privacy option right over here. Once you go to privacy option, you can see the option called private account. Currently, I have set to public profile. So if you want to choose a private account, you can simply tap on the private account button and then tap and switch to private at the bottom of the screen. Once you do that, you can see if you want to review your followers or not. Now, if somebody else wants to follow you, first of all, you will get notified and you have to accept their follow request and then only that person will be either able to follow you on Instagram. The other thing we are going to learn is how to go live on our Instagram profile. 
For example, you can see if you want to share a live video or so on at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you will be able to see the plus button. We are going to simply act like we are posting a new content. Once you do that, you can see at the bottom we have been given three options such as post, story or live video. So if you want to go live, then you can simply tap on this live button right over here. Once you do that, you will be live on Instagram and your followers will be able to watch a live video if your account is set to public or private. So once we have learned all of the basic functions of Instagram application, the next thing we are going to learn is how to change our passwords such as our security settings and so on. To do that, again we want to simply tap on the tree navigation bar and then go to settings. Once you do that, here you can see the option called security. We are going to simply tap on the security option right over here. Once we go to security option here, you can see we have been given multiple options to change our password, login activity, two-factor authentication and so on. So if you want to change your password, you can simply tap on the password button right over here. You can enter your current password and then enter your new password and then save it. Now if you want to turn on two-factor authentication, for example, whenever you try to log in from a new device, it will send a code to your phone number or your email. So depending on that, you will be able to log in. So this option is actually really secure if you want to secure your Instagram application. You can simply add an extra security layer to your Instagram account. You can click on get started and follow all of the instructions accordingly and then you will have successfully turned on two-factor authentication on your Instagram profile. So these were some of the basic functions. Now next thing if you are facing any type of issues that you want to report somebody on Instagram for a fake profile or so on, you will have to contact the Instagram support section. So to do that again we are going to go to our profile settings right over here. We are going to go back and then again on the top right hand side we will be able to see the menu icon. Go to settings right over here and here you will be able to find the option called help. Simply tap on help option and here you can see what kind of help you want. If you want to report a problem, tap on report a problem, help center, privacy and security help, support requests and so on. You can see many of the options right over here. You can simply do that and then follow and contact the Instagram support accordingly. The next thing we are going to learn is how to share, like or comment and post. So let's say that this is one of the following of my following whom I chose to follow Instagram. If I want to like this post then what you want to do is simply double tap on the photo in the middle of the screen. Or if not then you can also simply tap on this heart icon right at the bottom left hand side. So if you want to comment on this post then you can see this comment icon right over here. You simply tap on comment and type in any comment which you wish to send to this profile once you do that you can simply tap on post and then post this comment right over here so if you want to share this profile picture either to your story or to your newsfeed or to your friends then you can simply tap on this dm or this chat icon right over here once you tap you can choose whom to send this photo or this post to and you can also choose to add this post to your story by tapping on add post to your story at the top of the screen the other thing we are going to learn is the most one of the basic and the most important functions of any social media which is to actually send chats, DM and then reply and so on. To do that on the top right hand side you will be able to see the chat icon. Simply tap on the chat icon and here you will be able to see multiple people on the list. So if you want to chat to somebody then you can simply tap on their profile right over here. Once you do that you can see I have chatted with some of my profile. So at the bottom here you will be able to see to send a message and so on. Once you do that if you want to send a certain photo you can click on this photo icon right over here. Or if you want to send a voice message you can simply hold and record this icon right over here. And if you want to video chat this person then on the top right hand side you will be able to see this video icon. And if you want to only voice call this person then again you will be able to see this little call icon on the telephone button right over there. In this way you can send chats, calls and reply to any people on the Instagram application. The other thing which I'm going to show you at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see this heart icon which is the notifications icon. Here you will get notified of all the posts your followers have liked, commented on your profile. So this is simply the notification panel. You don't really need to do anything. This is just a notification from Instagram itself for whatever they have chose to share you on Instagram. So these were some of the basic functions. Now I'm going to give you a bonus tip which are some of the very very hidden features of Instagram application. The first thing is that you can share your selective stories to only close friends for example let's say i try to post a new story to this and i don't want all of my people to see it i only want specific friends to see this so what i'm going to do is at the bottom right hand side you will be able to see the close friends option you can simply tap on the close friends and be able to show to your close friends so if you want to edit your close friends list once you tap on your story on the top right hand side you'll be able to see this green icon simply tap on the green icon and then edit your close friends list like right over here once you do that you can choose to add people whom you want to add on the close friends list and then you can you can add them accordingly to your profile 
so once we have done that the other thing we can do is also we can receive specific notification when others post so let's say I, this is the person from whom i want to receive every post so on the top right hand side you will be able to see this little bell icon right over here you can see what kind of notifications to receive whenever this person posts a new content to their instagram feed so you can do this really really easily it is one of the really cool tricks to stay updated with somebody or somebody else's profile and the other really and basic function which I'm going to show you is to simply add a secondary Instagram account to do that on the bottom right hand side you'll be able to see your profile icon here so if you want to switch your account on the top right hand side you'll be able to see your profile name on the top left hand side you will be able to see your profile name you can simply tap on your profile name right over here and at the bottom you will be able to see the option called add account you can simply tap on add account and then add a secondary account right from this option so this is also one of the really cool tricks which you can use on Instagram to sign up or sign into a new account without actually signing up from the current account. The other thing we are going to learn is that you can actually clear your search history as well. So in order to clear your search history, this is one of the really cool and hidden tricks. If you don't want your friends to know what kind of people you search when they use your profile, at the bottom you'll be able to see the search icon and we'll go to the search box again right over here. And once you click on a search icon, it will show you a list of people whom you have searched on Instagram. So in order to clear this, you want to simply tap on the cross icon on the right hand side of the screen. Once you do that, all of the profile which you have searched, you can simply choose to close them or to clear them right away. So this was a really, really simple and effective beginner's guide on how you can use the Instagram application. We hope we discussed all of the necessary things which you can use on Instagram, such as sending messages on Instagram, posting videos, stories, editing profiles, support, chat, DMs, and so on. We hope that this guide video was really helpful to you. And if it did help you, then do make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any more questions regarding this, then also make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.